So I'm just needing to post something right now for um, legal documentation. Um, so I was supposed to for sure, and I know the person, and I know that he wouldn't not tell the truth about it, but I was supposed to get a text or a phone call and a message concerning a job, um, either way on it. But uh, I did not get any text messages. Um, I mean, I got one concerning my car, I got one concerning an ad in the, in the paper, and I got one from, you know, my daughter that I regularly text because, yeah, we find out right away if those texts don't get back and forth, so they have to kind of let her through. But I did not get a text message, and I told him, if, if you can't get through on the phone, please text me. Um, so that was blocked, you know, all week. This phone call or this text concerning this job was blocked. And the thing about it is, is that it's been happening on a regular basis. Um, I did get some scam calls, of course. It says spam risk, so I didn't answer those. Um, and But, you know, like, because I know that if it was something that was actually for me and is not nefarious, that I would have um, gotten... Oh, dang it. Now, like, all of the numbers that called with these spam risks, because I was about to read them, are not on here. Yeah, it's like my call history just got erased now that I started making this video. Um, But, no, just to verify, I did not get a single call or message concerning this job. And the thing about this is that this has been happening on a regular basis with this cloned phone. It's also got a little dot. I guess that means I'm being tracked. Um... But I have lost messages and um, possibly phone calls, possibly emails. I don't know. I mean, but the thing about it is it's not adding up because there were certain people with these job searches and stuff that were going to get back with me, like for sure. Not a maybe thing, a for sure to let me know. And I haven't received any of those phone calls. Um, I go through the process. I go through the interview and they say they're going to get back with me. Well, something is going on with this cloned phone. And, uh, you know, we'll see if the other one works or not. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be sure to document that if it's still not activated. Um, it's pretty obvious that it's being cloned. It took a week for them to activate that last Verizon prepaid phone in Bozeman, which ended up being put on a permanent security lock and shut off permanently. So it's kind of lame that we have to continue to buy phones. And as soon as we do, they're cloned right away. Um, it's not okay. Nobody has the right to do any of this to somebody else. So, yeah. Just to verify, I had uh, text messages, messages, whatever, stuff blocked. One thing they'll do is they'll revert it to some sort of an empty mailbox. Like, I found this happened when I was trying to cancel auto insurance policies, especially ones I'd never even opened up in the first place. Um, the, uh, phone call is diverted to some empty, empty, you know, box somewhere and they don't get your message or you don't get the message. These, um, you know, want to be not even, they're not even human. They're demonic. Um, but anyways, these so-called people, not people, that's what they'll do is they'll divert it to another, uh, completely empty box. But yeah, again, I just wanted to verify that I did not get any texts or messages that I was expecting this week concerning, um, jobs that I've applied for and job search. Um, I like to have a part-time job along with, you know, making my jewelry so that I can be moving around and have interaction with people socially. I do realize that, you know, it needs to be a job where I can be kept safe at and not in a vulnerable place. Um, and this last one was, but sure enough, I didn't get any text or message concerning it. I'll go in, you know, um, and, you know, just the fact that I've got a letter from insurance company saying that my the policies that I tried to cancel on several occasions through text messages, through phone calls, through emails, that um, that policy ended up being shut down because of non-payment. Yeah, because I purposely like shut down those cards and moved those cards so that that Allstate couldn't continue to charge me um, since it was all turning into fraudulent stuff concerning all of that. And, uh, but so on my, on my thing, so even though I've got that letter, 
And then on this, this phone here, I've got the text messages that I tried to send to him on multiple occasions to uh, cancel those policies. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, the people at the last job where there was so much nefarious stuff that went down, including my mailbox being forwarded without my consent. And, um, you know, then all of a sudden these duplicate insurance policies open up and they've got all my information. If you've got a nefarious manager that has your birth certificate and your social security card and your photo ID, especially if you're living at the job. So they have the same um, address, the last two places, uh, both those situations. There's no limit to what they can do. Well, they're being busted now and they're going to be going to prison for their illegal activity. Um, but yeah, no, I can solidly prove by showing anybody that these text messages to this Allstate that never never got canceled and that I get a letter saying it was canceled for non-payment when I had like canceled it at, at least three different occasions attempted to cancel it. And then I called in, but you know, like I said, when I asked to speak to a live person, it was diverted to some other mailbox dead space and I was recording for who knows what, the thugs, I guess, the hacking thugs. So anyways, documentation, I got a lot of it and I got a lot of proof. So you would be wise to knock it off right now or you're gonna be going to prison with all the rest of them.